Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone video. Actually, the first Warzone video of the new year. And today I'm going to show you how you can detect cheaters in your match before you even drop out of the plane. In the pre-game lobby, you'll be able to tell whether or not you have a cheater in your lobby. And uh, it is one of the greatest additions to Warzone to date. Now, this is not an official addition to Warzone. This is actually a companion app. And I'm going to be straight up. There are some ways you can abuse this. And I'm going to encourage you not to. And we're not going to go through all of the ways that you should be using this as a player but before we get on to that i want to shout out the warzone academy discord the warzone academy discord is a place where 35,000 plus players are looking for like-minded players players who are very skilled but also very positive and team oriented if you're looking for people to play with join the warzone academy discord linked in the description if you're looking for someone to frag out with maybe when your boys are offline uh it's, it's really well moderated we got a lot of good dudes in there and i would really enjoy it if you would check it out but what we're talking about today is the warzone companion app now, I'm going to be straight up. There are ways you can abuse this, and I really am going to squash it right off the bat because I don't want people using this for the wrong reasons. When you queue into the lobby, you can see the average KD of your lobby. So you can actually keep backing out and trying to farm for a lower KD lobby, and I would really encourage you not to do that. Play out your game. Play out your lobbies. Play to become a better player. It might be something to know in the back of your head, like, oh, crap, we got to focus up. But don't back out and be weird like that. The second thing is don't be really weird and use it to look for the player list and try to stream snipe people, okay? Please don't do that. Trying to, like, find out if TP or, you know, Nick Merckx or Tim's in your lobby and then stream snipe them. That's just really scummy, and it's, it's, it's terrible. Don't do that. But the real reason why we're doing this is, one, we can see some really insightful stats about ourselves, but more importantly, and I'll show you here in a moment, how to detect whether or not a cheater is in your pregame lobby. And then finally, I'll show you at the very end how to get this on your system. Now, as you can see here, I'm just in my Warzone game. This is what I'd be recording in-game. But what I can do is pull up the Warzone Companion app. Now, on the dashboard, you can see a lot of amazing stats up here. kind of shows a lot of different things, like mm, in the combat, I'm top 3%. Talks about average kills per match, kills per minute, Gulag duels win rate. And you can click on all of these, and it'll show you, okay, here's how you're doing as a player. So I have an 82% chance of winning my Gulag, and it goes up and it goes down. And you can see, like, from different weeks, whether or not it's a certain meta. Like, let's say you hate the Sniper Gulag, and it's going down. Or maybe you start going for some Mimi strats, and it goes down. That's some of the things that you can pull off with this. Same thing when it comes to experience, games plays, time played, kill plays, wins, top 25%. This is making it look like I have no life. Uh, impact talks about score per minute. Outlast talking about how long you live. Shooting. This is something that's very important that we're going to look at later, like headshot percentage. Oh my gosh, 31% headshots. And so there are a lot of things that you can look at to see whether or not you as a player are improving and also whether or not, you know, what's going on in your matches. Uh, so this is kind of cool. I would encourage you to dig around. Just look at look at some of your stats. I thought the Gulag stat was really interesting for myself. Uh, some of the things that I am terrible at, like you could look at your skills. Uh, you can look at like best skills. So I'm really good at taking, you know, damage taken, but some of my worst skills um, our average lifetime. I have a very short average lifetime because I drop in a superstore. I drop hot every single game. So there's a lot of really cool, insightful stuff that you can be pulling from this. Um, and you can see where you want to improve. And you can also see like where you're best at. Okay, so I'm best when it comes to survival, which I'm not really sure how that's different compared to the two. I'll have to look into this. Obviously, this is all in beta, uh, but most of the stuff has been pretty insightful and pretty fun to watch. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. You can start to look at specific matches. So you can see, you know, how you did in specific matches, how long you lasted. Okay, so I had a KD of 1, 4.5, 1, 4, 7, 5.5, 28. So I obviously had a very good game there. Uh, and you can go through, and, go through and see how you're doing as a player in terms of KD. This is also one way you can look up other player stats and seeing if they're reverse boosting, but uh, I'm not. <laughs> Records is another cool thing you can go through and you can see like, What's the max amount of kills you've gotten in a single game? What's the max amount of points? Even random things like max, max amount of, you know, score streaks opened or, or score streaks used or, you know, caches opened. So a lot of really cool stuff in here that you can take a look through. But what we're really, really focused on is cheaters. Now, the way you can use this to your advantage to spot cheaters is as you queue into a lobby, it'll actually tell you whether or not you have a cheater in your lobby and whether or not they're suspicious or not. Now, cheaters are probably going to get smarter as they go through this, and they're not going to toggle or they're not going to just go full on cheat mode because they're getting banned too quickly. Maybe, you know, who that's the dream, right? So they might just have their walls on and they might only snap when they need to. They might only have a soft aim lock. But there are some key stats that you can look out for that says 
this player may have a little bit more information than they should. Now, this is still in beta, and it's it's kind of getting through, and I'll show you what happens when you get into a pregame lobby here in a moment, but some things that you can look through that's like, okay, this is sus. KD ratio. If someone has a ridiculous KD ratio, I'm not talking five, because you can have a five KD ratio and be a completely legit player and, and you know, an above average player. It's not absurd. I have about a 3.3 KD, but I play very, very aggressive. Um, You can look at KD ratio. Someone has a 23, that's sus. 19, 15, 21, 19, 7, that guy's probably not sus. I don't know. Headshot percentage, also something. If someone's walking around with a 43% headshot percentage, I mean, granted, it's the DMR meta, so you could be really selective with your shots. So it's a little bit different in this meta than others. Everyone's going to have a higher headshot percentage. Um, but that's looking pretty suspicious. Now, this is the one that always gives it away for me. The damage rate or damage. Um, there's also another one called damage ratio. Now, there's a damage ratio stat that basically says for every one damage I receive, I give X amount of damage. And I'll show you when we get into a lobby how you can instantly trigger, okay, that guy is sus. Because what that tells you is, okay, I, I receive quite a bit of damage during a match, but I win a lot of gunfights because I have either better gun skill, better positioning, better movement, whatever it may be, but I'm taking shots. When you have people that have damage ratios that are like, 15 to 1, 20 to 1. It's like this guy knows more about what's going on in the game than I ever would. So things you can look out for is patterns. And I'll show you here in a moment when we, when we get into a match. It's like, okay, so this guy's got a pretty high KD ratio. He's got like a, a 6 KD ratio. Oh, but he also has a very high score per minute. If someone has a high KD ratio, but a slow score per minute, that just means basically like they play the very the game very slowly and conservatively. If they have a very high KD ratio and also a very high score per minute, they are full sending, moving fast, and they're either one of the best players in the world or they're sus. You can also check out your teammates, but you can do most of that stuff in game. You can check out your friends. There's also a cool widget, and I'll show you as we, as we start to queue into a lobby here, um, that allows you to... Um, and we'll just go into solos because it makes it a little bit easier. Actually, go into duos because it shows it shows a cool a cool stat in duos. Uh, but, but there's a widget in the game where you can pull up different stats. So you can go into here. You can enable the widget. And you have the option for whether you want to do your last session or your last 20 matches. And so if I were to go, this shows... My last 20 matches, I had a 3.8 KD. I was averaging about 0.69. Very nice. 9.6. Very nice. <laughs> Kills per minute and average life. And some of this isn't super, super accurate as I've as I've been seeing. Um, you can also up the widget size to, to help you guys out and see it. Um, so that's kind of cool. One of those things you could put on if you're a streamer. But there's also some really inf interesting information that we're going to see here in a moment. When you get into a lobby, it'll actually show a live tracker of who has the most kills. I would encourage you not to use this because this seems a little bit unfair. This is where you get into the sketchy area where things seem to lack a little bit of integrity or gives you a little bit of an unfair advantage. This is just cool. You know, it's just tracking how you're doing that day so you can see how you did that session versus a previous session. But there's some stuff we can get to when we get into this lobby that shows it's a little bit more suspicious than it actually uh, it should be. For the average player while we're waiting to queue in this lobby i just want to say ladies and gentlemen if you're enjoying this video if you think this is new content something you haven't seen before and you're getting value out of this please subscribe to the channel if you are subscribed to the channel and you have not already hit that bell icon ring the bell icon real quick we got about 10 seconds before i got to show you this really important moment so ring that bell icon for me smash the like and uh throw a w in chat just a, a w in the comment section so we're going to go into here we're going in right now and the lobby is starting to queue up and as we can see, good shot. Okay. But I'm going to show you real quick what sort of information we can get. Now, this is the live feed. This is what happens when you get into the game and it shows live. Okay. So I have two suspicious players and it shows... Fisa and Bill Nine. It also shows these guys are suspicious as well. Some of the things that they're using likely in their algorithm is how long they've been playing, their KD ratio, their damage ratio, etc. So for me, I have a damage ratio of 6.5. Sometimes I imagine I'll probably show up as pretty suspicious. These guys, Bill Nye, 
probably sus. He's got a good KD ratio. He's got a really good damage ratio. Both of them do. So they're either very, very talented players or they know a lot. But the fact that he has a 66% headshot says that this guy might be sus. Now, once again, there have been a lot of times where I've jumped into a match and it says, okay, this guy is sus, but he really isn't that much. It says suspicious matches. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with in-game reporting. I don't know their exact algorithm, but there's a lot of really cool stuff you can look through. It's like, man, this guy has a high score per minute, a high kill death ratio, um, but his average placement isn't that absurd. It's not really something I would be worried about. Um, I might actually be a little bit more worried about this guy, not to characterize the East Asian uh, language or writing, but he's got a high score per minute, pretty high KD and a very high average placement, very high average lifetime, a pretty high headshot percentage. So this guy might be more aware, and I say that to insinuate aim hacking or wall hacking, uh, than the average player. So this is something you can do when you go into a game and see like, okay, there's clearly something going on here that I don't know about, or these guys know more than the average player. Let's look at some more things you can look at. Lobby skill level by KD. So this is one of the best lobbies I could possibly get in. 97 percentile of the lobby because it is a 1.4 KD. Obviously, you see all of my individual stats right here, but the average lobby, the average player in this lobby has a 1.4 KD. Sorry to all the people down here with a uh, super, super low KDR. There's also one other thing you can pull up. And it's what I was talking about earlier. And it's here on the right hand side it's actually giving a live counter of who has the most kills so if you actually feel like your lobby is dying very very quickly you can pop this up just through a hotkey and it can show you and be like okay this lobby's dying really really quick what the heck is going on oh my gosh this guy has 45 kills screw it boys let's just back out or at the very least you can be like all right boys get up for it if you see xx murder 98 this guy's twisted so there's some really cool information you can pull out on this. And uh, the more you dig into it and the more I'm sure they update it, we're going to get some really, really interesting information. For the settings, you can change your hotkeys for whether or not you want to show it. Obviously, I showed earlier, you can change how much. You can change your last 20 matches and it'll all show different things. Uh, you can report feedback. And this obviously isn't sponsored in any way, but they got some ads and stuff in there. But there's a lot of really interesting information you can pull. Once again, I would really encourage you, don't use this for stream sniping. Don't use this for selective lobbies. A lot of people are breaking world records right now because of the meta. It's awesome. But don't be hunting for bot lobbies just to try to show off to your friends. Play the game. Get better at the game. Um, and for the love of God, don't stream snipe. Uh, now, let me show you real quick how to actually get this downloaded in game. So the way to get this uh, correction is codstats.net slash warzone slash companion. And you can track your stats. It's safe to use. I've seen a lot of pro players using this. Uh, it's really interesting just to track things. It's got the in-game widget. And then you just simply click the download for Windows or download down below. It's going to download the game. And then it's going to bring you to um, this where it'll now have a app for you on your desktop. You're going to open the Warzone game. And then you're going to open the companion app. It'll sync with what is your in-game ID, and now you've got all the stats available to you. It's going to live track. It's not super buggy, surprisingly, for being in beta, beta, uh, but it, it's going to live track all your stats. It's going to live track who's in your game, who's in your previous lobby, and hopefully allow you to back out of a suspicious lobby before the game actually starts. Now, unfortunately, this isn't available for console players, but frankly, if I was on console, and I'm seeing a lot of players doing it now, even players I really respect, like TP, they're playing on console with crossplay off, with hackers galore, um, and even people using this third-party companion app uh, for negative reasons like stream sniping. If you're on console, I would recommend playing with crossplay off for the first time just because of how dangerous the hacking has gotten. And then even with the DMR meta, I'll be honest, like if you're not using keyboard and mouse with the DMR meta, you're kind of at a disadvantage. Warzone's in a rough spot. And I hope this, uh, I hope this helps you guys out. If you think this will help you out, make sure to drop a like. Uh, hit the subscription if you haven't already. Really enjoyed this makes video. I really hope you guys uh, learned something from it and can put this to good use and uh, responsible use. And I will catch you all in the next Warzone video. Love you guys. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Thank you for all the support in 2020. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.